back at it, the Art of Ramp. That is a pretty easy lesson, and I'm surprised that I actually haven't talked about it yet in earlier days here, but today we're talking about grabbing your board. That's right. Um, a couple things that I, I like to always tell kids is that the higher you are, the harder you're gonna fall. The lower you are, the softer you're gonna fall. And falling is, is inevitable. It's gonna happen, so embrace yourself, right? And we want our falls to be soft, so we get back up and we have a great experience. Falling's just the name of the game, it's gonna happen. So what we're doing today is just gonna run through the basic grabs of skateboarding. So the first most common, easiest one, first one you're gonna learn, front hand on the nose. It's called a nose grab, all right? Now, a good way to strengthen your, your wrist for doing airs and stuff, which we'll get into in more advanced videos, but a lean grab, which is not a nose grab, but it's over to the side, you actually can do something like this and strengthen your wrist because when you, we start talking about backside airs, if you haven't seen the, the backside air tip trick video that I did a, a couple years ago, check that out. But this is how you hold that board to your feet. That's pretty tough. It takes years of practicing, but you can do it. All right, so first and foremost, we got the nose grab. Boom, learn it. Lean grab right here to the side. And it's not really called anything when you grab right here that I know of. If you have, if you know a name of grabbing under the front wheel like that, leave a comment below. But moving between the toes, something, remember front foot on, back foot on, something like that right there, that's called a mute grab. Uh, the mute grab is great for a big twist, it's great for doing inverts, all right? Inverts, your first invert, it's gonna be a mute grab. Plant the hand, go upside down, swing it back in, all right? All right, so, and then the last grip, um, with the front hand is going to be all the way behind the heels. That's called a melon grab. Or back in the day we used to call it melancholy. So to review real quick, melon, lean, nose, mute grab. Those are the four basic front hand grabs. Of course you can take your front hand, bring it all the way to the tail, and do a seatbelt grab. All right, that's called a seatbelt. Great. So back hand real quick, starting us off. One of my favorites, great to bone and tweak. It's called the Indie Grab. Backhand, boom. Bend down, look forward, tweak it. You can pull it and push it and bone it down with your thumb. That's the Indie Grab. So front hand, or backhand, between the toes. Uh, so moving on, right around the board. From the Indie, we're going to tail. Grab the tail. A lot of vert riders and dudes that are launching in the park. They'll actually pinch their toe along with the tail of the board. That's cool. Last one, one of my favorite. Swing your hand all the way behind you. Lean back and then huck your weight forward. Still fish grab. Probably the toughest but best looking grab you can do. That's a stale fish. Back hand behind the heels. We're not going to talk about any of the other weird grabs. Cannonball is a front and, uh, nose and tail grab and your back hand up front called the crail grab. That's a pretty common one when you're doing anything on the tail. So that's a little review of grabs out there. If I missed anything, comment below, subscribe below like always, and keep following the Art of Ram. More tricks coming, coming soon to this channel. You know, each one of these videos is just first try. We're just doing this because this is what we love to do out here at the third layer, so remember that. We'll see you guys around next time. Ram it down. Thanks, Danny, maybe. Woo!